slowly grinds the mill of the gods, but it grinds fine. Sextus Empiricus. Welcome back, guys, to my YouTube channel, Few Minutes Knowledge, where we explore the lives of various historians to see their contributions to the modern world. In this video, we're talking about Sextus Empiricus. According to Sextus Empiricus, the ultimate goal of philosophical research is to achieve tranquility, or a state of ataraxia, roughly translated as peace of mind. His philosophical works are the complete surviving account of ancient Greek and Roman Pyrrhonism. They are also a major source of information about the other Hellenistic philosophies due to the arguments they contain against them. Sextus Empiricus's life is little known. He was called Empiricus because he belonged to the empirical school of medicine, besides the other two schools that existed, the Rationalists and the Methodists. But it's a little confusing, as Sextus himself mentioned in his most famous work, The Outlines of Pyrrhonism, that the Pyrrhonists might rather adopt Methodism. Sextus Empiricus wrote 10 books on Pyrrhonism, and they all have been grouped in his main two works. The other main work that partly survived is Adversus Mathematicos, or Against Mathematicians, also translated as Against Professors. Sextus Empiricus expressed concerns about all types of knowledge. Those who claim for themselves to judge the truth are bound to possess a criterion of truth. This criterion is either not approved by a judge or has been approved. But where does the trust come from if it is not approved? For no matter of the dispute is to be trusted without judging. And if it has been approved, that which approves it either has been approved or has not been approved, and so on indefinitely. Sextus advises that we should dismiss judgment about all beliefs. We shouldn't confirm any belief is either true or false. This is known as Pyrenean skepticism. And it differs from other skeptic schools who deny knowledge altogether. Only by suspending judgment can we achieve tranquility. Henricus Stephanus published an influential Latin translation of The Outlines of Pyrrhonism in Geneva in 1562. And the outlines became widely read in Europe and influenced many people, including Montaigne in the 16th century, Descartes and Pascal in the 17th century, and David Hume and Hegel in the 18th century, among others. Thank you for watching. Don't hesitate to comment below and share this video with your friends. See you in my next video.